I love it when that works. I found out a while ago that my phone will record video if I say record video. The thing is it doesn't always work because it can't hear me that well through this mic or at least it can't understand what I'm saying that well through this mic. So I got to say over and over and over and over again and then finally it works and then I get to make the video. So there, a little bit of behind the scenes for you. But anyway, let's move on to the topic of today. Oh, wait, first, before we do that, let me hit that pothole back there. And then also want to say thank you guys for the encouragement and prayers and all that kind of stuff uh, in the wake of the last couple videos. Uh, things have been going better lately. Uh, I do not know which day. I just legitimately don't even keep track of it, which is fine. I don't try to keep track of it. I don't want to keep track of it. I'm, you know, like, like I've said so many times before, it's getting old now, but I focus on today. I focus on what I'm going to do today, the present and the future. It's all that matters to me. But anyway, moving on. Uh, like I said, thank you guys for all the thoughts, comments, prayers, and whatnot. Now, as for the topic of the video, let's get down to business. Controlling your thoughts, or rather controlling my thoughts. I don't know how your brain works. This may or may not work for you. All I know is my story, so I'm gonna tell you my story. So I remember way back, as far as you know, being a little kid, and a big kid, and a middle schooler, and a high schooler, and all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, sitting in church, listening to the sermon, or trying to listen to the sermon, and of course, I'm into all the old, you know, the Flash cartoons, the YouTube poops, the Gmod videos, all that funny stuff. That that really, really tickles me, all that does. And th that stuff is just hilarious to me. And to some people, it's, you know, childish and immature or, you know, they don't get it. And so it's not funny. To me, that kind of like crazy out there, random kind of stuff is hilarious. So as a, as a youngster, uh, the, this would cause problems because I would be somewhere where it's not appropriate to just bust out laughing. And a thought would pop into my head and I would, you know, stifle the laugh. You know, I've got fairly good self-control. I was ra raised uh, in a well-disciplined household and everything. So I try to stifle the laughter, and you know, the thought would still be there in my head, and it would come back at me again and again and again, and it, it would get really difficult to be blowing air at my nose and stuff like that. And it's, uh, and it's a struggle. And you know, I've heard the whole saying that everybody has probably heard by now that if you uh, you know, in the regular course of your day, you're never going to think about a blue elephant. But if you intentionally set out not to think about a blue elephant, then you won't be able to get it out of your head. And the idea is that, you know, you can't try to keep something out of your head. It's not going to work. Um, and that was my experience for the longest time, which is, uh, which is really unfortunate because there are some thoughts that you don't want in your head at the moment or some thoughts that you don't want in your head at all, you know, and the broader uh, topic of this channel, you know, pornography and sexual sin and stuff like that, uh, there are a lot of possible thoughts that will get into your head that you don't want to keep there. And maybe it'll be a passing thought, in which case, okay, you know, just let it go, move on. Maybe it'll be something that's really persistent, and I'm sure you guys all know how that is and what that's like. And you, you know, of course you can choose how you react to it emotionally, or you can choose, uh, you know, not to intentionally focus on it and to just let it be there. Uh, but for the most part, it seems like trying to get out of, out of your head doesn't really work or maybe even makes it worse. And so that sucks. It sucks to just have to kind of, you know, let it be there and to tolerate it. And so I became interested in, you know, let's see if there's a way, you know, another way to do this. And at some point along the lines, of, uh, probably a spin off of something I learned from Gorilla Mindset, like a lot of the stuff that I do. But uh, I, I decided to end up trying, you know, kind of a visual cue, visualization, and seeing if I could use that. And ended up having a lot of success with that to the point now that if there's a thought in my head that I don't want, I can straight up remove it from my mind and not have to deal with it. 
no matter how persistent it seems or anything like that, so far nothing's been able to uh, nothing's been able to withstand my assault of visual cues and all that good stuff, which is great. You know, it's great to be able to uh, to do that in those moments whenever you have that whatever kind of imagery or ideas or whatever that you don't want in your head to be able to actually remove them instead of just letting them simmer there. And so this is, uh, this is weird. It's kind of, it's weird. It's hokey. So if, if you think that anything that sounds weird and hokey is stupid and not worth trying, then see ya. But, uh, for those of you who want to, you know, hear what worked for me and maybe try it out yourself, this is it. This is the particular cue that I use. Different stuff might work better for you, you know, different particular visualizations or whatever, but what I imagine is I imagine my brain there, I imagine the unwanted thoughts as like these contaminants inside and on my brain. And what I'll imagine next is like a kind of filter, like a, a, almost like a screen door, you know, like a kind of mesh like that moving through my brain and just kind of sifting all that stuff out and bringing it, you know, moving, starting at the front of my brain, like actually my physical brain, um, and moving through my brain, just passing through it somehow that doesn't seem physically possible, but that's just how it goes. Um, but the screen is, you know, moving through my brain and it's catching all of those thoughts that I don't want. And those are all clinging to that screen. There's picking all those up and bringing them from the front of my brain, through my brain to the back of my brain and until it just, you know, pulls them out and, you know, they disappear because there is no brain for them to exist inside. Um, that's the only place that thoughts can exist is in somebody's mind. Otherwise they just, otherwise they're just literally nothing. And, uh, you know, I'll do that once or twice or, or maybe three times and, uh, you know, really focus on that and that visualization's connection to what's actually going on in my brain. And it works. Somehow it works. I don't know how it works. <laughs> it didn't work that well at first. It's kind of something that, it, you know, it's like a discipline or, or a practice. I uh, had to get better at it. had to, I guess, maybe solidify the connections in my brain between the visual aspect and the, you know, what actually happens. I, I don't know how all that works. But I do know that after some practice at that, it works surprisingly well for me. And it works so well that I will come out here and tell you about this weird stuff that I do in my brain in hopes that many of y'all, some of y'all, maybe just a few of y'all, will be able to benefit from it somehow. So try it out. Try it out and, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know how it works for you, how it doesn't work for you. Um, and like I said, you might want to try different visualizations or whatever. That's just the, you know, that's just what I naturally visualize when I do it. Maybe for you, it'd be something, uh, something totally different. It could be imagining your brain as like some kind of landscape or something. And the bad thoughts are, uh, walruses and you're shooting cruise missiles at them to blow up the bad thought walruses. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it's weird stuff anyway, so don't be afraid to get too weird with it as far as what you're thinking about. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. That's what worked for me. I hope that helps somebody out there and I did just, you know, let you all inside of my crazy messed up mind for no reason, but I don't know. Oh, well. So that is it for now. That's all I can tell you about that. That's all I know about that. But in any case, the point is, you know, it is possible to control your thoughts. You don't necessarily have to just tolerate whatever pops into your head. You've got a fighting chance. You just got to find out how to fight it. All right. Y'all have a good day. God bless you guys. Take it easy, but not too easy. And I'll talk to you later.